Hi! In this lesson, we'd like to give you a tour of the lesson editor and the course builder, both in conjunction with adding content to your lessons. Let's see what we have going on in the back end. For the purpose of this exercise and adding lesson content, I want to go back to the course builder. One of the things that I want to show you first is how to add video content to your lesson. Now you can access the lessons directly by clicking open WordPress lesson editor right here and that'll open up a WordPress edit screen similar to a blog post to edit the lesson. However, if we click here for settings, that will open up the window directly in the course builder and if we want to add a featured video, we can put that featured video right there. Okay. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to save that. Save changes. And as you can see, this icon here boldens up. So this tells us that this has video. If this were boldened, we'd know that we had already had content in the lesson. This would tell us that we already have a quiz, and this would tell us that we already had an assignment. So these are ways that you can add to the lesson right here as far as lesson content. Add regular content to our lesson will open up the WordPress lesson editor. And what you'll see here, again, like I said, it's very similar to what you would see with making a blog post. However, it's a custom post type for your lesson. And you'll see that you'll have some navigation here, right, that works inside your lesson structure. Your Mark Complete button is there. If you wanted to add printed content, you would possibly put in some kind of a headline or subline here. And then you would have paragraph content. And you can format this just as you would any other kind of posts. In fact, if you were to uh, click here and say media, for example, you could say media and text, and this would help you format what you're doing. So if I wanted to add a picture from the video library, let's say I want to take the Lifter LMS logo, pop that in, and then say the best LMS on the planet. Okay, so as you can see, we have all kinds of options to add content to our lesson. Now you might be wondering, that featured video that we showed being embedded in the course builder, where does that go inside this? It's right here. So here's the video embed, here's the audio embed, and then there's other settings in here that we'll cover in other lessons for you. Of course, anytime we make any adjustments to our lesson, we want to click update and make sure we save our work as we go. Now that we've added some content and some elements to our lesson, let's go up and take a preview and see what we've built so far. Excellent. Here's the title to our lesson. Here's the video that we were able to embed through the course builder page. Here's that headline subline that I had pointed out and the paragraph content if we were to fill that in. Here is the logo that we had put in place with the media and text split. And then here is the mark complete button along with our navigation. This lesson is coming together.